Shalom. Welcome to another episode of Dare to Dream with Pauline Mwarabu. I'm so glad to have you on board. And today, I have an amazing, amazing guest. I'm telling you, I can't even start talking about it. And I'm going to give him an opportunity to introduce himself. But just to give you a hint, he's a man of God. He's a worship minister. And he is a medical doctor. And he's from EAC. I hope that one keeps you guessing who my guest is. But before I bring my guest on board, I want to thank JCC Ongatarongai for giving us another opportunity and a place to shoot this um, episode. And we thank God for them. Uh, I don't know whether you have subscribed. Tafadali, subscribe. Dare to Dream with Pauline Mwarabu. And also my guest, I believe that you're going to subscribe. So without any other further ado, I want to bring my guest, Dr. Ipiana from Tanzania. I didn't, have, I didn't come with the shakers today, but I believe you're blessed. Karibu sana, Daktari. Sandi sana, Pauline. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Amina, Amina. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. Ah. Yeah, at last. Great. Nime, nime, nime pata segment kwa Pauline Mwarabu. <laughs> Dare to dream. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hapa, we bring all the dreams. Amen. Amen. Because, you know, sometimes people don't dream enough. Uh -huh. And when they hear other people who have taken a chance to dream and to actualize, they get inspired. Amen. But before we get into your dream and your inspiration, uh, uh -huh. you know, when you're in the limelight, people think they know you. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know whether you meet people and they're like, oh, I know this guy. But actually, they don't know you. <laughs> so, then. so I want to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself. Who is uh, Dr. Ipiana? Uh -huh. yeah. uh, my name is uh, Ipiana Peter Kibona. <clears throat> Those are my names. And uh, I'm a born-again Christian. So I'm just a Christian. Amen. Before I knew a doctor. Like any I'm a medical doctor. Wow. trained medical doctor. My last appointment was a health center manager wow. in one of the hospitals back in Tanzania. Uh, God has blessed me with a wife uh, and four kids. Wow. So I have four boys in the house. We bless God. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, that is quite an introduction. Indeed. And uh, even saying that you're a medical doctor, because sometimes when we are serving God as men of God, mm. people don't think they are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and basically, we are going to get into that. Mm -hmm. And congratulations. We bless God. I can assure you that uh, I can never be a doctor. Yeah. I, I fear anything medical uh, yeah. gives me some anxiety. Oh, yeah. But... Um, I want you to tell us maybe a brief history of your ministry. Mm. When did you start singing? How did you know that you can sing, mm. you can worship? How did all this start? So I found myself in a, in a Christian family. Ah. My mom is a good singer. My late dad was a very good singer as well. So we'd not see singing as one of the gifts because we fi found ourselves singing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, umezaliwa uh, kwenye that kind of family mm -hmm. and you don't see it as a gift. So, I cannot record when, but my mom tells me kwamba when I was two years old, after a very bad burn accident, I had a very bad burn accident when mm -hmm. I was two years old. Wow, wow. And uh, where my mom is a retired nurse, so the neighbors actually declared that I, I was not supposed even to like to be sent to hospital because they said, where are you bringing this kid? He's already dead. It's a gone case. Yes. But my mom, Anasema, I was maybe two months born again. Uh -huh. She didn't know even how to pray. Okay. Akasema to God, I bring this kid, mm -hmm. whatever happens is because of you. Okay, okay. okay. So, uh, to carry the story short, after one month, mm -hmm. 
Uh, Mama says I was recovering. And, and uh, the time when they were doing dressing my wounds, after crying <clears throat> because of severe pain, <clears throat> Mama says I was singing. Gina la ko Emanueli, Osana, Gina. So it was recorded uh, me singing when I was two years old. Wow. So wow. I was telling my mom, let us sing Gina la ko Emanueli, Osana. Uh -huh. Amen. So, so the reason why my mom told me I was singing because of the ban accident. Okay. So okay. I didn't knew. And I, Nisingeza uh, Juokomba was singing when I was two years old. Ah. Nalabda daktari, sasa umesomea udaktari, umehitimu, umelewa kupata ban accident ni nini. Mm. Kulingana na vile wazazi wako likuelezea, mm. if you look back, how do you get that? Do you feel like for sure God was on an assignment mm. concerning your life? For sure I can testify about that because uh, after doing assessment, because when you, if you, if you, you, you look close, it just on my neck, you, you, you find the, uh, maybe 35 uh, years old scars of an accident. Wow, wow. They're wow. still here, they're still here. Okay. They're all over my, my, my back. Mm -hmm. So when I assessed myself when I was in medical school, yeah. I found that 80% of my body. Yes. Was, had had banned. Okay. So uh, it is very difficult. At that time, when I was doing my internship, yeah, a kid, maybe of sixty percent banned, mm -hmm. wow, wow, wow. So that means, in those days when when we had not we we, we did not have like a sophisticated technology, but still God rescued me. Mm -hmm. That means it was it took only. The, the hands of God sure, sure, sure. To, for me to be alive. Sure. So, Babu, sure. Udaktari, Uliniambia Kwamba, Nilipaswa Kufa. Kweli. Yeah. So, my mom, Ananiambia, their pastors who was telling my mom, Kwamba, listen, this kid, Atapona, na Kipona, one day, Atakua, Anavua Shati, Anawambia, Jesus is alive, because wow. Mimi Nilipona, wow. Nikiwa Badum Dog. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I felt maybe there was a, an assignment that God had given you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God uses events mm -hmm. to validate what he's doing in Indeed. our lives. So that when you look back, you say, for sure God preserved me mm. for such a time. But I want to believe you are two years, so most likely you can't remember. Of course, I It's can't. what you were told. Yeah. But now when you grew up, mm -hmm. what is this that attracted you now? What is this that made a difference between singing now as a family Mm. your folks can sing uh -huh. to now I want to be a minister or I am a minister. So uh, I just want to also to confirm Kwamba I found myself ministering. Ah. This, is, this wasn't my plan. Okay. And a lot of people are saying, oh, Dr. Ipiana left the medical field and he went full time, uh, full -time minister. <laughs> but I uh, I don't I think actually so. thought so. <laughs> no, I don't think so because I know my last I resigned my last job uh -huh. knowing that I will be finding another job. Okay. Ah, so ah. in the transition of looking for the job yes. another job yeah. I found myself all over the mm -hmm. the world. No so no employer can yeah. employ someone who is asking for issues now and then. Every day you are out so, there. So because I'm occupied of the ministry now, yeah. I cannot now do the practice. Okay. But the inspiration came when I was maybe from two. Ah. Uh, so I was walking from my home place to school, 5.1 kilometers. Okay. Find myself singing. Ah. And God started to show me some vision and talking to me. Mm -hmm. And I was not like, like singing because I, uh, I wanted to be a, a, a big singer, a great singer okay. in the in, in future, but uh, just uh, to be found in his presence. Uh, uh. In Yomana, I was just going through my path, kind of medical school, mm -hmm. still singing out of campus, singing. So, I could resign. I could full time. 
Wow, wow, wow. You know, God is able to take us from one step to another. Indeed. In, in a very, uh, I will not say funny, but in a, in a very calculated move. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you are resigning, you're thinking, okay, I'm looking for greener pastures. Oh. I want to do something better. That's right. Then you find yourself, now you are a minister, full-time <laughs> minister. Green and, pasture. And, and, and I love the fact that you can, you, you worship, you're a worshiper, you're a worshiper minister, but you're also a minister of words. And in one of the sessions that you, you're ministering, I heard you say that uh, it is better to work with God mm -hmm. than just to work for God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and when I think about it, it reminds me of Enoch, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the man who worked with God mm -hmm. and he was no more. And, and to the young generation who probably are, are listening to you uh, today, what is this working with God? So, uh, you see, uh, in, 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 in Christianity, mm -hmm. some of them are motivated to continue being Christian because they want to go to heaven. Ah. And uh, <laughs> some we, of them... But, but Dr. we all want to go to heaven, yes, right? Yes, we want Even to go to heaven. Even the sinners want but to God, go to, but to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't want to, 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 to get saved, but they would love to be yeah, but, in heaven. <laughs> but that, uh, if, if that was the case... Yeah. Uh, going to heaven in Gekwe na to care to pare ukio koka God na anaku kill anasema anaku wasa sawewe ili kabla usawuja tenda thambi nyingine le mi snatch you to so but God wanted us to display his glory displaying his glory will always come baada kuwa na motivation ya kumpenda mungu tu not because you want to display the power and to to scare some people kwa mbabana una a lot of because another another now uh, uh, wrong motivation. Parigwamba, let me now uh, go and seek good so that I show people how I can harass demons. I am anointed. I am anointed. I have the all. mantle. You are, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I can prophesy. Uh, I can go deeper hey. and all this stuff. <laughs> so, but God is insisting us just to uh, let us seek Him to love Him first. Yani. Mm -hmm. Uh, hunger for and thirsty for his presence mm -hmm. and we to drive kwamba we want to to just be with him because babu at the end of the day if you want just to work for him like moses moses ange kwa naishia ku walk to work with and to work for god mm -hmm. a single make to heaven Nicole. because in terms of work moses failed kabisa ali fail because babu aliambiwa piga mwamba mara ngapi akapiga mara ngapi uh -huh. S several times alikuwa me fail but, but because he had a relationship with God at a God alipo alipo kufa God akata pambana kwamba this is my servant nimekuja kumchukua mwenyewe yeah so uh, at the end of the day ukishi, uki, ukiwa kama unafanya uh, uh, your relationship with God ikiwa ni work relationship yeah you fail at some point true, Mungu atasema kweli ulitoa pepo mm -hmm. lakini nilikuwa sikujui uh -huh. Like you know, on a walk with God, you have a relationship, wow. a fatherly son relationship. And both of us are going to protect our higher. Okay. Mm. That is very deep, by the way. Walking with God. And, and sometimes, uh, especially when somebody is having a walk with God, you know, people don't see what is happening behind the mm -hmm. scenes. Mm -hmm. And when you do a song, for example, Niseme, mm -hmm. Niseme Nini, mm -hmm. And the song has hit, it has over 14 million views, by the way, mm. <laughs> on YouTube. Mm. And, you know, people are looking at you and they're like, how did this guy get 14 million views on YouTube <laughs> within a year? Mm. You, you get. Mm. And they're like, ah, this was uh, an overnight, an overnight thing. <laughs> Probably you can take us through the journey. Yeah. From now working with God to being an international minister, mm. somebody who is known globally, mm. what did it take you? What is, that, what is that regime that we never saw? Uh -huh. We only saw Dr. Ipiana hitting, the songs becoming number one mm. and all that. Mm. But probably there was a regime that you went through. There's a process that yeah. we never saw. Yet we want to be where you are today, now, mm. without going through the process. So uh, 
those 15 minutes of Nisemenini gave out the summary of my life. Yeah. So I summarized my life in 15 minutes, just acknowledging what God has done in my life, like okay. in Daniel 15 minutes. Uh, so I didn't also expect Kwamba that song can go uh, uh, <laughs> bigger space mm -hmm. because that was not my goal. Okay. My goal was just to be found in his presence ah. and thank him genuinely. Okay. Because that is not someone's story. Yeah. When you listen to that song, you find me uh, thanking God for uh, rescuing me from flight accident, yes. plane crash accident. I, uh, thanking him for delivering my kids. Mm -hmm. and, and I was also thanking God for another son. Like, uh, we actually... We, we, we actually removed that part, but you can hear it in the background. Okay. Then, ah. because also Guamaka went very rough season at some point. Post there. And I also thank God for <laughs> Guamaka in that particular song. So, Post there now that you have mentioned Guamaka. I have been privileged to feature Guamaka in this show oh, yeah. that I'm featuring to you. And... Uh, when I ask him what inspires him, he mm. mentioned you. Mm. So thank you so much for being a mentor. Uh, we, we can bless, continue. We bless God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Uh, the reason why I think that song also got a lot of, uh, it went viral, it's yeah. because uh, I will also ask God, why is it that you're promoting this song? Akanyambia, because there are a lot, there's a lot of complaints coming to me. Mm -hmm. There's no, like a few people are, are bold enough to go and thank me regardless of whatever is around their life, like their lives. So, Nikwamba, several times a lot of people are bringing agenda, Nikwamba, God, I need this, I want this, nina nini, mbono meniacha, lakini awapo watu ni wachacha na shukuru mungu. Kwa hiyo, kumunyesha kwa mba God anapenda shukuliwe, yeah. akapeleka ule wimbo kwa watu wengi pia. Uh -huh. Na when you, fall, when you go through the testimonies, a lot of people nasema, Dr. Ipiana, why are you talking my heart? Uh -huh. This is what I, I wanted to tell God, lakini likuwa na shindo ni seme vipi. But uh, no, I was not reading people's heart, but I was also <laughs> expressing my heart. Wow. So that is just a platform now anyone can use now to express their, sure. their heart before sure, sure. God. So it took maybe, uh, it took uh, maybe 36 years mm -hmm. summarized in a song because I was also, when I was also re uh, singing that song, I was remembering the way God rescued me when I was two years old. Yeah, sure. God rescued me in several accidents. Mm -hmm. Every milestone I'm born, I a bad accident. Okay. I remember even when I got married, maybe one month, we were near hit by a bus together with my wife. Uh, uh. And when I was going to a medical school, I had very bad accident. When, so I was remembering those incidents. Mm -hmm. God, I don't know what to say. Sure, 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 sure. I'm here now to release my thanksgiving unto you. Little did I know last year 2022 was our seventh year ah. of us doing the ministry now outside like i was now doing the like invitations and other stuff mm. seven years zakufanya sasa kama dr ipi and the concert okay. was last year ah. so i found myself thanking god most of my songs of last year is because mm -hmm. so when i was contemplating why this is the seventh year. Wow, wow, wow. So, Pia ni kwa sababi ya seventh year is a number of completion. Yeah, it's a number of completion. Yeah, koyo naisi mungu pia likuwa natamani ku crown the ministry to another level. Wow, wow. Yeah. Now, you have said something very strong and very important, that this is not what you went looking for. So, sometimes God answers prayers that we never prayed. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. you never ask to be popular, you never ask oh, yeah. to be famous, oh, yeah. you're just worshipping God in your own small way, mm -hmm. and then God came in a big way. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, um, when God answers questions that, 
when God answers prayers that you never prayed, ushers you in a global platform mm. with all these followers and <laughs> popularity. And, and best Tanzanians on Appenda showbiz, oh, sana, sana, oh. sana, sana. Oh, yeah. I, I see that they, the people they consider celebrities, they follow them with cameras, with all, all that. Mm -hmm. So how do you handle this popularity, the kind of, in quotes, because I know you don't consider yourself as a celebrity, but mm -hmm. the celebrity status. Mm. How do you handle this? Uh, I cannot uh, stop people to celebrate whatever God has given me. Sure. <laughs> but I can control myself mm -hmm. not to be in the space they're thinking ah, I am. Okay. So I normally separate myself from the spotlight on the stage. Okay. And I always make sure the light inside me mm -hmm. is greater than the light outside. outside. Wow. Because the moment when uh, the moment you, you make the light outside, ikiwa kubwa kuliko the light inside, mm -hmm. inakuban, mm -hmm. unaungua. Nikweli. So you won't be found anywhere. So my stage life, sijui on altar, maisha kwenye altar, siya chukuli kwamba. Okay, I cannot equate myself with 14 views, 14 so million 14 views. million. Yes, I'm still, I am a piano Peter Kibon. I'm a husband <laughs> to that. So I, have, I make sure I, I will never be a lion yeah. to a gazelle. So I have to be a gazelle to my wife. As okay. long as my wife is a gazelle, ni 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 swala, how do you call swala? Ndiyo yo gazelle. Yes, I'll continue to be a little swala. So okay. that my wife always ku pata shida kuja kuniambia, pale madhabuni ulisema nini, mbona kile kitu akiendani. Umeanza kujiinua sikuishi. I want I want to be a lion to uh, my pastor. Wow, wow. Because my pastor ananguvu zote kuniambia kwamba this time utazunguka court but give me two Sundays make yeah. sure you you're not you're found here you understand mm. so uh, those things na keep kuendelea kuwa ipiana yule ambao walikuwa wanamuona wakati anakuja church anaomba mm -hmm. anamtafuta Mungu na ipiana ambaye sasa hizi yuko duniani kote lakini still anaendelea kuja church na kumuomba Mungu yule yule wow and, and the reason why i ask you this question mm. It's because, uh, especially this young generation, you find that when someone does a song or does a talent mm -hmm. and they hit, unajua yule ni ndugu wa kukanisani, but immediately, ana hit, unaona mtu wame backslide, anasema, even I was not singing gospel. Mimi siku kuwa kwenye gospel, nilikuwa tu shuguli zangu. So that handling that you know celebrity status and fame mm. it is not easy for it's not many easy. people it's not easy yeah. i've tested fame yeah. I've, I've tested being celebrity mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not easy sometimes that's why i've or i've i've also uh added a prayer point okay in my prayer team uh -huh. pray for this name Okay. Dr. Ah, because ah. it's very hard to handle this name. Sure, sure, sure. And sure. the other day, the, the, the reason why I separate Ipiana Peter Kibona and Dr. Ipiana, mm -hmm. God told me I'll give you a name like those people in the world, the big names in the okay. world. Yeah. So I, I, I realized that Dr. Ipiana is no longer my name. Yeah. So I want to use Dr. Ipiana for private gain. Mm -hmm. It will be a corruption. Mm -hmm. So using God's office for private gain, yeah. itakuwa ni rushwa. Wow, that's deep. So, uh, uh, my prayer team, wale committee, na ambia pray for this name so that itumike kwa jili ya display God's glory mm -hmm. na imlete mungu fame. Mm. Zaid, because nisha ambiwa nitapewa jina. Uh -huh. Because even Jesus alivu nyenyekea mbaka kufa, mm. God gave him the name. The name of Jesus is not for Jesus. Yeah. It was God's name mm -hmm. given to Jesus. Yeah. Baada ya kuwa hambo. Akmenyenyekea kweli. So, ata mimi, yeah. God gave me because aliona kuna certain qualities. Mm. Inazo. Aka nipea jina. Ndoma ni member, umenipa jina. It's not mine. Yeah. Something umepewa always ku brag. Ah, uh, uwezi sema ni yako. So kuna watu wanapewa tu vijina siku mbili ka wimbo kamoja amepewa jina anaanza ku brag, anaenda kiendanga nacho. Ndio hivyo. So the, the, the 
kitu kikubwa ambacho kinaweza kukukip kwenye nafasi ambayo Mungu amekupa mm -hmm. ni kutengeneza prayer is one of the is the one of the method kumuonyesha Mungu you very humble yeah yani the humble thing you can do mm -hmm. ni ku, 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 kuendelea kufanya maombi kwamba Mungu I cannot do it mm -hmm. on myself True. so tengene tafuta watu ambao wanakukubali mm -hmm. kwambie jamani don't celebrate me kama ukifii unataka kuni celebrate pray for me Wow, wow, wow. So, kwa sababu there is no way you handle fame. Devil ilimshinda. <laughs> the most thing ambayo naogopa kati ya pride na devil naogopa pride. Uh -huh. Sababu pride ilimwangusha tabia. Pride ilimwangusha yule. Kwa nani mbabe hapo? Nani mkubwa? <laughs> pride, pride ndio mkubwa. Uh -huh. Kwa hiyo ogopa sana, yani hata devil haiwezi pride. Uh -huh. So you better now and then go Deal before God, crucify your pride. body. Yeah. Kwa sababu you will never go through it without God himself. Wow. Ya so ninawaambia watu ambao Mungu anawapa majina na wakuza mm. tengenezea prayer committee nenda kwa mama pastor waambie just be available have that enthusiasm kwa proactive kwamba mimi niko jamani nisaidieni siwezi kuhendwa mama mm. wow wow that's yeah. a point to take home now i want us to talk about the way you are doing mm. ministry because uh, most of us have grown up in the church oh yeah we have seen worshipers and sometimes we feel that uh, ah worship too sikuingia kanisani piga makofi kidogo kidogo shangilia mungu mm. kurudi nyumbani mm. but i have seen that you have put a lot of excellence mm. in what you do mm. so what is the place of excellence mm. in worship and mm. why have you gone to that extent to mm. invest in what you are doing wow that is Wani very roho atembee kama tume invest why uh, are we investing <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the other day god told me kwamba you see worship is only for kings mm -hmm. oh you, you can say that again mm. worship is for kings is for kings you cannot worship god if you're not uh, a king ni, na mimi nikastuka nikasema what is happening here mm -hmm. akaniambia go to proverbs 25 verse 2 the bible says it is the glory of god to conceal mm -hmm. a matter wow but it is the glory of king to search out that matter so for you to be crowned as a king you have to search out what god has hidden mm -hmm. So as long as you're going to search it out God I can I can unveil whatever he has hidden mm -hmm. is crowning you to be a king of that place. Wow. That's so deep. any worshipper kama hujagundua chochote uh -huh. you will never be a, a good worshipper. Okay. So until you have discovered something which God has hidden mm -hmm. God will never reveal himself to that level. Mm -hmm. That's why worship you will never worship god past your understanding yeah. about him mm -hmm. so uh, uh, quality the same thing uh, mimi nilikuwa na nawaza na, na why is it that moses took a lot of gold for a temporary temple in sure. the desert sure. in the wilderness mm -hmm. and i tried to calculate i went to google i google what uh, uh, the value of the gold ambayo Moses alitefuta kule wilderness ilikuwa ni billions of wow. billions of wow. dollars wow nikasema that temple was just temporary, temporary. yeah but it took god billions of dollars mm -hmm. to invest gold kule to kwa temple kule mm. and god akaniambia most of the time you guys mnatumia mic ambazo zinapiga mechi and you think i'm there yeah pale natumaga tu malaika uh -huh. <laughs> i'll never show up in a place ambapo hakuna quality ikizidi tunaanza kuzikemea mnaanza <laughs> wacha kelele wacha kelele <laughs> wakati hakuna technician ambaye are you trained enough to control uh -huh. those noises yeah you see like now tuna camera my technicians are so happy <laughs> yes because that thing in a in a in a in a, in a muimbara sana mungu mm -hmm. we are not investing a lot and we want anointing iwe tangible ah listen the 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 the, the solomon temple ukisoma mm -hmm. the gold ambayo his father david 
alimwachia Solomon ina equate kama USD million ya 4 ya yeah. the gold afa anakuambia that gold is from Ophir mm -hmm. and Havila the quality gold the in best. the world yeah ndo alimwachia mtoto wake yeah naye akatafuta gold nzuri kuweka tu sasa ndio sasa unaona when now the priest walivojitakasa the presence came, came down because of the gold wow eh Go, gold and gold gold and gold hivyo vitu lazima vitembe pamoja so quality matters a lot yeah. when you talk about worship mm -hmm. there is no worship without kingly mm -hmm. stuff na okay. kingly stuff hapo uta talk about gold and expensive stuff mm -hmm. so we are not supposed to uh, wave like uh, tunajifanya hatujui wewe unatembelea gari zuri lakini sasa kinanda unachopiga ni buttons zingine zimekufa You understand? Like now a lot of people wanasema ah Dr. Ipiana ananunua tu vyombo. God has given him grace to like important uh, expensive stuff from UK. Yeah. And nikisema ningenunua magari I think ningekuwa na magari zaidi ya matano. Mhm. Mm Because all his equipment na hata hapa nikiweka zijai. Yeah. Lakini ni Nikolaji. Naangalia nani ana Marekani anatumia nini saa hii. Mm. Kwa nini yeye ana unafuata hill song. Yeah. What a beautiful name. And you think ni anointing. I'm not ni ile piano <laughs> imetuniwa. There's something beautiful yes. in this. <laughs> ile pad ile yeah. wanao wanao the, 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 the pad they are Ile wanaenda kiwandani wakwambia tu designie pad ambayo iko different from. So akipiga mwenye unaenda kuna piga magoti tu. Hiyo mm -hmm. tu ni nini? Ukisikia tu hata kama hujui kuimba. Mwenye unagalagala Mungu. What is <laughs> You understand? So so there's nothing like uh uh, uh bana tutamtafuta tutafunga 21 days. Alafu <laughs> unakuja huku. Hamna <laughs> chochote. Hamna chochote. <laughs> and uh, excellence and quality does not come cheap. Ah no, no it, it doesn't come cheap. No. And uh, here a medical doctor has decided to serve God. Uh -huh. How do you maintain that quality? How do you find and you know I'm sure there are some young people out there young worshipers. Uh -huh. They they want that kind of quality you are talking about. But they are wondering how do we get there? Oh yeah. Yeah. So mama basically when I started I was still practicing. Okay. So I was using my money. Mm. With, with my wife's money tuna combine tuna weka gathering okay na watu wa YouTube pesa tumetoa yeah baadaye ili Mungu kuondoa hiyo ego mhm mm ndo nikaz resign mm -hmm. just after resigning god told me to prepare another gathering i was very mad kwa Mungu kwamba why si mimi sina hela mhm mm mshahara naandaliaga mshahara wangu niliacha kazi niliacha kazi na uliona hata <laughs> ah, akasema never mind Arisema from now mm -hmm. I won't allow you to use your money. Okay. Kwa sababu utasema ni pesa zako. I want you to have people and your partners. Mm -hmm. So uh for, first of baadaye akaanza kunipa instruction church za ku develop funds na tengeza t-shirts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Na uza uza nyimbo ambazo nilikuwa nime record studio. Mm -hmm. So nikawa na accumulate some fund. Kumbe God was training me to handle his money. Mm -hmm. Ili sasa akimleta mtu ambaye ananipa dola 1000 nisichukue hizo nikanunulia gari nisipeleke uh -huh. kwenye madhabahu. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So since 2016 amekuwa kini grow akini grow up to now. Yeah. Sometimes naweza kuweka 5 million nasema nimeandaa ibada ninaogopa nisije nikafeli. Our own man with my wife we we put maybe 5 million Tanzania shillings. Yeah atujaenda kwenda bank from distance from our home to ATM to fetch that money hapo mm -hmm. katikati mm -hmm. god will never allow us to go to touch that money yeah tutasikia doctor tumesikia una ibada mm. 5 million 2 million yani by the time we are going to do a worship gathering mm -hmm. tuko sorted na hata tujatumia pesa ah. so god has given us partners all over the world they are, they are sowing a lot of uh, Uh, seeds toward our our, our gatherings and does not sababisha tunakuwa sustained wow so so i want to believe the first thing that is required is obedience 
obedience but also e, e that diligence waonyeshe watu kwamba pesa yako hii uliotoa yeah. ndio imefanya hiki na hiki na hiki ah kwa sababu ah kuna changamoto <laughs> kabisa kuna changamoto kuna changamoto so na... watu wana, wanapewa pesa wanasema za huduma alafu wanadaiva so ah. lazima kuwe na genuine art na hiyo muonyeshe Mungu sionyeshe watu kwanza kwa sababu kwa sababu namba ya simu ni ile ile watu wanatuma ya hapa na luku inaisha you know how do you call it to look here in the steamer ah ni ni dakika mbili tu kuna application unaweza kununua steamer ya nyumbani tunaita token token yeah. so unaweza kununua token ya ya ya, ya steamer nyumbani wakati ni hela ya ya ibada sasa ah. hapo ndo Mungu anakuangalia okay mjuaje <laughs> endelea <laughs> tumjuaje <laughs> so, wow you have to be keen enough now there's one thing i want to ask you because uh, i've been following you Bless not you. so much but i've been following you here and there and i see that you do a lot of mentorship mm. kuna wakati ulikuwa na worship clinics i don't know whether yes, they're still there yes they are called ibada clinics uh -huh. yeah yeah so why is it very important to mentor people oh first of all uh, back to your question about fame and celebrity yeah that's where i groom people to handle success ah yeah cuz now unamchukua like those all, every every person ambaye nimemfanyia featuring na alikuwa ajulikani uh -huh. ni kwa sababu amepitia training na akajua ah kupata views if mbili bado ni mtu yani <laughs> ukifinywa wewe bado ni mtu hujawa enjoy uh, eh 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 so usitake kuonyesha watu kwamba wewe ndo utaki yeah. so that is very important because first of all in our train watu worship yeah in our train watu ku handle finances mm -hmm. za huduma na za kwako i train people how to handle success i train people how to handle maisha yao ya ya ya, ya private like mm -hmm. now you, you na, na four boys lakini you won't find any man one hujai muona mtoto wangu popote uh -huh. yeah because bato zangu sitaki ku transfer kwa my sons mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. watafika point na the my sons ndo ambao wananiambiaga wimbo gani utoke ni ma prophet mm. like any song ni kile code set of songs maybe 20 songs sometimes i'm confused njani utatoa kwanza nianze na ipi kwa sababu mm. that matters a lot yeah kwa una shangaa na pita huko one year old anaimba wimbo ambao atuja release na hapo mungu ameniambia sana nimegoma mungu mm. anambia you see even your your child <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I so yeah yeah you kuambia watu pia kuendo your private life usiapeleke mm. nje na uh, ibada clinic ina mambo mengi okay including those okay yeah. so um i believe that uh, once you are able to mentor people then we have the future indeed like kwamaka now is all of ah. we've been with him more than 10 years amen mentorship amen amen yeah. and 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 i love the way Guamaka acknowledges mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the work that he has had with you we bless God and the impact he did. We and bless in fact God. i ask him if there is one person who would sit in this show off the camera <laughs> if i got one person to sit with i can ambia wewe we, doctor piana kwa in the country uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, it's a royal son ah that that is very good and we celebrate you guamaka i'm sure you're going to watch this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thank you so much for being an obedient son i have one or two questions uh, to ask eh? first of all uh, as somebody now who is touching global ministries and touching lives all over mm. uh, all over all the continents i would say and who is traveling here and there How do you handle your shit? You said you're a family man. Oh, How yeah. do you balance is there in the mm. way? You know like women we don't love being left so much. Amen. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how you balance that and Yeah. Uh God has given me a certain personality. You talked about family and the ministry, right? Yeah. Uh, my personality will allow me to be with my family uh. after every uh, travel okay okay lakini pia if 
Uh, my wife is not occupied. Mm -hmm. I normally travel with my wife. Ah. I've been with her several times in Kenya as well. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Na nikiu tokaga airport, mm -hmm. naenda nyumbani. Ah. Kienda nyumbani, nakuwa na set of animation. Ah. <laughs> and nakuwa punching. Animations as in cartoons? Animation cartoons, uh -huh. ambazo tuna watch sana na my kids. Ah. Na ninakuwa ni punching box, how do you call it? Kwa watoto wana jump sana. Oh. Ah, wanacheza na wewe. So playground inakuwa yes, a blend just. Ah. So lakini pia mungu amenipea nema pad, kwa siku ninaweza kuongea na mke wangu mara tatu okay. video calls ah, ah. communication kwangu is very important mm -hmm. na watoto wote i pray with them every day uh, uh, maybe read memorize some verse the bible yeah hizo ni routine ambazo mungu amenipea ah daily ambazo zina ni keep now kuwa close na my family mm -hmm. if i travel a lot yeah yeah lakini pia na ministry inasonga mbele kwa style ah. so una, unaweza ku balance because if you're not there physically technology will enable you oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. to reach them oh, yeah. and when you are not ministering you mm -hmm. give yourself fully fully to the family fully to my family <laughs> wow that's a, a wonderful Quite a wonderful thing. Me an introvert, so I don't go outside. <laughs> sana. When Zangu wana chesa mpila, again, I don't go to ah, maybe movies okay. or sports. Like, na, na, na baki nyumbani tu kupata. Ah, ah. Yeah. So what, what next, uh, Dr. Ipiana? So Where we are, do you see are, yourself in five years' oh, time? Oh, five years. Amen. <laughs> that is a very difficult question. Uh, but... Uh, my dream is one day to have a presentation of nations coming together, mm -hmm. lifting their hands in a very big place. Wakinyanyo mikono, wakimba, nyimbo za luga mbali mbali. Hata kabla tujienda mbinguni. Ah, wow. <laughs> yeah, so I normally see myself leading multitude of people. Wow. Kwenye stadiums, na vitu kama hivu, na nina amini. Mm -hmm. That one will, will happen before even five years to come. Amen. Yeah, lakini I see myself having academy, worship academy. Wow. I want to, to make that Ibada clinic sasa kwenye platform kubwa mm -hmm. niyo na school of worship mm -hmm. ambapo uh, people are trained now to to be worshipers na wasiwe was 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 trainiwe kuwa to celebrity uh -huh. uh, what najua kuna celebrities wengi ambao they still preach gospel mm -hmm. like na like I, I i normally like media because the other day uh we posted our picture 10 years anniversary mm -hmm. with my wife and I, 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 I wrote the sex before marriage is seen. Yeah. That post brought souls to Christ, like 50 souls. Wow. What on a kudia could repent. Just a post. So it's, it's very good to be a celebrity for Jesus. Ah. And you pull now people. Because now a lot of people are being, admiring Dr. Ipianas and his wife. Yeah. So it's very easy now to use that bait. Yeah to bring people. So this is the success of our marriage. We began like this. Yes. Yeah. I want that thing also. Mungu akinipa fame kubwa aendelee kuleta jina liwe kubwa ili sasa nikiweka posti moja tu kwamba sikiliza hiyo ni dhambi. Kwa sababu kama currently uh, the world secular music is is like a uh, Legalizing kwamba sex before marriage, uh, single parenting, same it's sex okay, marriages. same sex, yeah. you understand? Mm. But we Christians, to make kimi ya tunaona, we cannot go to that space. Yeah. So, tukiwa celebrity enough, vya kutosha, tumeenda yeah. duniani, yeah. to post vitu ambavo, vita sababisha watu wa mjue mungu. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is also my goal. I want to go to the media, na to influence people positively. Wow. This has been very incredible, and I'm almost uh, winding up the show. But I'm telling you, I can't do this the whole 
the whole day. Now, <laughs> Dr. Ari, yeah. I want you to do two things and then we will wind this show. Yes. Number one, I want you to look at this camera mm -hmm. and talk to young worship ministers that are coming up. Tell them in brief mm. what is the success of this thing. How do you become successful? Mm. And or even how do you start? Mm. That is one. Tukimaliza hiyo nitakwambia ile ya mwisho tutafanya. First of all, uh, don't look for success. Uh, success is kupata unaendelea kumtafuta Mungu. So first of first thing ni seek a place to major kwenye prioritize kwenye seek a place. Huko ndiko unaona Mungu akaniambia niende South Africa. Mungu akaniambia niandae concert. Mungu akaniambia vyote hivyo vimepatikana kwenye seek a place. So uh, make sure your secret place is bigger than your public space. Wow. wow. And um, God told me the other day, ukimpenda Mungu sirini, yule Mungu ulimpenda sirini atayatangaza mapenzi yenu hadharani. Amen. Atasema this is my beloved son. Yeah. Listen to him. So that is the first thing ambacho nakitamani kukwambia a young worship minister. Usipambane ku public kutafuta hiyo microphone public. Pambana kukukaa na huyo mzee huko uko chumbani. Amen. Yeah. Aha, the other thing I want you to do, you know, um, I'm, I'm a pastor, but I'm also a pastor's wife. Uh -huh. I started by being a pastor's wife. Uh -huh. And I, I believe that pastor's wives and minister's wives, they have kind of the same kind of life. Yeah. And sometimes uh, nobody recognizes mm. the efforts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the spouses of ministers mm -hmm. do and the sacrifices even to have the family together mm -hmm. to pray for the ministers mm -hmm. to be their pastors at mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. so i want you to look at that camera mm -hmm. and appreciate your wife because i want to believe she has been a pastor to you as you pastor so many other people under you <laughs> that is very emotional like any uh Theodora, I love you so much. And uh, sometimes I lack words because nimekuwa nikikwambia hivi hivi sasa naogopa ndakuwa narudia tu yale la yale yale but uh, nimetoa mfano hapa kwamba I cannot be a, a lion to a gazelle. I better cause you to be a lion kwangu me niwe gazelle. Kwa sababu hadi most of the time nasema gazelle sasa kwani wewe haunaga hata maneno mazuri ya kuniambia sababu critics zako ni nyingi but that kama u, u criticize if you don't have positive uh, critics ambazo unani uaga unani kila siku unani criticize uh, nisinge kuwa hapa nilipo those constructive uh, criticism ambazo umekuwa ukiachilia juu yangu leo hii niko na mama Pauline huko Kenya <laughs> so god bless you thank you for staying with my for boys and uh, it looks like you're confined, but uh, I bless God because yeah, your sacrifice and by umekoki actually. Now everyone, pastor's wife out there, and by minister's wife and by umekua, una um, you've been a shoulder to your husband. Please keep doing that. Now you, your reward is going to be heaven. May, <laughs> go, may good God continue to reward you. You are happy to. Wow. You may reward in yingi. Watu wengine wamemchukua mke wangu wamemfanyia shopping za millions kwa sababu tu wamejua anasimama na mimi na nyingine nyingi zinakuja katika jina la Yesu. Amen. God bless. Amen. Amen. We also celebrate you mama for being a pastor to Dr. Ipiana mm -hmm. and ensuring that their anointing continues. Feel very appreciated all the way from Kenya. Now my viewers, I told you guys <laughs> I can be here for the whole day and not get tired. Indeed, I'm so refreshed, I'm so inspired, even in my own ministry. But if you forgot anything else that has been said, remember it is better to walk with God than work for God. Because work, you can get to a place that you get tired mm -hmm. and you stop working. Oh, yeah. But when you walk with God, your life will always be refreshed. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Dare to Dream with Pauline Mwarabu. Tafadhali, remember to subscribe 
for my guest, Dr. Ipiana, you know, he said that he want to uh, reach so many other people out there, millions and millions. So he's not yet done with uh -huh. the ministry. Mm -hmm. So when you like, you subscribe and you share, you will help him to reach other people out there. And to dare to dream. Hey, ni naona mwanza kufanya hile kitu. Atuko mbali na mahali tuliomba. <laughs> and I'm also waiting for God to answer even the prayers that we did not pray for. But if there's something that I'm taking home is don't pray for success. Just walk with God. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate my team, my camera people, my technicians, wonderful people, protocol. Today I have so many of them, and I thank God for that. May God bless you so, so much. I believe that your moment of exposure is just nearby. May you feel blessed. Till next time, God bless you. Thank you.